We met at a bar on 29th Street. His handshake was firm. I couldn't help but imagine those same hands massaging my shoulders. I need you to do something for me. Anything, Zach. Anything at all. I want to read my play to you. That's exactly what I hoped you'd say. Page one. Act one. That's amazing. A spotlight illuminates a well-worn easy chair center stage. An easy chair that's so good. Wow. Really in the zone, huh? Zone? Yes. I'm feeling the zone. How was that thing last night? Thing? <laughs> oh, you mean my meeting with Zach? Zachary? Zachary Bull? Good. But I wouldn't really call it a thing. I'd call it a interview. Wow. You're being kind of weird, hmm? I'm not acting weird. You're acting weird. Hello? Zachary! How weird! Um... Daniel, this is Zachary. It's nice to meet you. You have a really big fan here. Daniel, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. I'm an impartial journalist. Can I help you with something? Just wanted to follow up on our thing last night. Called it a thing. Well, uh, let's go somewhere and talk. <laughs> you know, I have to admit, all this sneaking around has been kind of fun. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. My orthodontist card. This looks like, but I can explain. I think I can put two and two together. You begged me to let you do a story on a hot new playwright. I finally agreed to an objective profile. Now I discover you're actually dating him. In my defense, I have no defense. I don't even know what to say to you. You could lose your journalism license. Oh no, my journalism license? What? <laughs> Daniel! You are so cute when you're mortified. You have no idea how stressed out I've been trying to keep this a secret from you. You're actually worried what I think. Betty, I'm here because I'm fooling around with my assistant. So my point was, I'm not one to pass judgment on anyone. Just give me a little heads up next time. <laughs>